hello everyone it is time once again to talk about one of the anime from spring 2022 today on the docket we have Deamon, recipe for happiness i i honestly don't know if i spell uh spell, well, pronounced Deamon correct correctly but that's what it is anyway this show, if you remember from way, 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 way back when we first talked about it, it was the story about this guy named Nagumo, who is like this uh, musician who went to like Tokyo or something like that to just try to get his dream of being in a band or being a famous musician and stuff like that, whatever. However, he gets a call from... Uh, home saying that his father like hurt himself or something and his family runs this Japanese sweet shop so he uh, abandons his dreams of music and whatnot and goes back to basically inherit the shop is what he's thinking of doing however he finds that uh, not only is he not going to inherit the shop because they found an heir but the heir is this young girl named Itsuka and uh, she's been living there for the past, like, year or so. Uh, and essentially what happened is her father just kind of, like, abandoned her there is, is essentially what it boils down to. I think there was, like, some conversation between him and the owner, um, and that's how the owner, uh, Nagumo's father, ended up taking care of her. But essentially her father just bails on him, and her father's this musician and whatnot, and... Uh, when Nagumo comes back, Itsuka actually mistakes Nagumo for her father because he has a guitar case with him. <coughs> so, that's the basic premise. And so it ends up being a slice of life show where Nagumo uh, is basically like trying to get to the point where he can act as this like father figure for um, Itsuka. Uh, because she's, you know, constantly searching for her dad and she's lonely and all that because her mother lives in Europe. Um, and whatnot, and so he's just trying to, like, take care of her. And, and through the series, like, um, there's a bunch of people that come up that are, like, related to the shop or related to Nagimo or uh, Itsuka and whatnot, and through the story, they end up, like, helping them along with, like, overcoming problems and stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, just, just kind of, like, helping things. So it's, like, a very, like, soothing, like, healing anime to watch. Like, it's it's very adorable. And you're not going to have, like, a huge drama scene somewhere where it's, like, someone, you know, just, like, got kidnapped or something like that or whatnot. And, and uh, it, it's really nice and sweet. Uh, but, yeah, it, it did end kind of abruptly, I thought. Like, it ended okay, but... There wasn't a whole lot of closure, you know, since like the overall theme was, you know, Itsuka trying to find her father and whatnot and them growing closer. And while they did grow closer, like the whole father thing, even though they like showed like glimpses of him throughout the show. And I have a theory of who he is because of that. I don't think there was much closure given for that particular element. Well, I could see how there would be like a another season that could potentially happen. But for me, if there was another season, I probably would not watch it. Uh, if I'm being honest, the show barely held my attention. It was only because it was like really sweet and cute that I uh, was able to continue watching it. If it had been like a little less like good, I probably would have dropped it. But uh, yeah. That's my overall thoughts. I still do believe that it has some really weird, like, I don't know if it's animation or coloring, but, like, uh, when they're trying to show, like, depth and reflection, the characters have this, like, stripe of, like, white or lighter color, like, uh, um, stuff on their cheek, which makes it very, very weird. It's, it's like a, let me, let me see here. I think if I just circle this, right, you can see that here, right, on the projector. You can see, like, the little, like, bit of, uh, 
of white sliver right there, right? You see that? You see it? Well, that, except it's like an inch thick going from like their sideburn down to their chin. It's just really distracting, and I feel like it does not add much, because they don't do it all the time. They just do it sometimes, which is weird to me. But all in all, it wasn't a bad show. If, if you're really wanting something like soothing and healing and like very slice of lifey, check this one out. But for me, like I said, it didn't keep much of my attention, and if there is a second season, I probably will not watch it. But uh, I'll wrap things up with this one. So thank you all for listening, and uh, the next one will be coming out very soon as well. So bye for now.